Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Royal Nerd Gaming. I am your host, the Royal Nerd, and today we'll be returning to Apex Legends. It's been a while, I know. I needed some time to myself. And I really appreciate the support and kind words I've received these past few months. I wouldn't say that I'm back to 100% yet or anything, but I do want to start making videos again. So, moving on to Apex Legends. Season 9 was released, and I haven't covered it at all. So let's fix that, shall we? In the words of a very wise man, I'm sorry I was gone. But look, I made you some content. Daddy made you your favorite. Open wide. Now today I thought we might try something a little different than usual. Instead of talking while I play, I thought it might be fun to record first and then tell you the experience of my games after, like a story. And today's story starts with Valkyrie. I haven't played her on the channel yet, so, oh. All right, today's story starts with Mirage then. For the first round, I thought the alternator was an appropriate choice. So, having bought my weapon, I waited for the gates to fall and thought an emote might be a fun way to pass the time. But if you've played any arenas, you already know why that doesn't work. In any case, we moved up the hill towards the crashed ship. I like to play for materials and meds in arenas, and today was no different. But obviously that tactic comes with the inherent risk of running into an enemy with the same idea. Having managed to avoid taking any damage and seeing that we had my opponent on the retreat, I figured I could afford to get a little thirsty. I caught a glimpse of my prey, scared and injured. Only a few more seconds now and he would be mine. Oh crap, he's got backup. Alright, so maybe pursuing my target with reckless abandon wasn't the best idea. But this was still recoverable. I was playing Mirage, so I just sent out a hologram to distract them and... Okay, so that didn't last. But maybe if I went over the box. Nope, that didn't work either. I was starting to get the idea that this Revenant didn't like me very much. Especially when he leaned over the side of the building and started shooting me in the head. But that didn't matter. I had enough shields to finish the job. Take that, you metallic bitch! Wait, that's not Revenant. Thoroughly confused and slightly offended that Revenant was proving to be a better bamboozler than me, I returned to the roof ready to finish this properly. And by finish this properly, I of course meant dance around Revenant and miss most of my bullets. There we go. For the second round, I thought an R99 was appropriate. I just had to get up close and personal. A beautiful couple of kills for me and my teammate there, and I felt like we were unstoppable. I was very wrong, but the Pathfinder probably had this under control. Actually, he'd lagged out of the game. Good. Good. I crawled away to the furthest corner I could find, hoping that by some miracle I might survive long enough for Pathfinder to come get me. I did not. But hey, Pathfinder was back. Maybe he could pull something off. Right. Well, that was certainly frustrating. At least we had the whole team back together and Pathfinder disconnected again. I was starting to lose faith in our ability to win this match. Even so, I would put up the best fight I could. If I was gonna go down, I was gonna go down swinging. An unfortunate way to lose a match, but not necessarily a bad game. I just had to hope that my next game would be better. Turns out that was a stupid thing to hope for, because Apex is a cruel mistress that enjoys my suffering. Loading into a match of arenas all by myself felt futile, to say the least, but I was no coward. I wasn't going to just lay down and die. Well, I mean, really, what did you expect? 
Honestly, though, I had a pretty good game with these guys. Once they realized that I was more interested in a good time than actually torturing myself with the 1v3, they were down to have some fun. So I threw my weapons and armor to the ground, and they did the same. The boxing tournament was about to begin! Well, it was fun while it lasted. As I loaded into my next game, I had low expectations, quite frankly. But at least I actually had a team this time. And if I was really lucky, maybe we could get through the game without them lagging out. As I browsed the weapon selection, I remembered that the Peacekeeper had returned this season, and I thought to myself, maybe I should try to get some footage using the Peacekeeper. Then I remembered, oh yeah, I suck with the Peacekeeper. Even so, my teammates still managed to close out the round, no thanks to me. I was going to have to step my game up, and the close range weapons didn't seem to be doing me any favors. So I decided it was time to break out this season's new weapon, the bow check bow. We played for the ring and held the high ground. I readied my bow and spotted an enemy. It was time to earn my keep. Completely blown away by my amazing knock on that revenant, I was too busy patting myself on the back to notice that his friends had pushed up. But my Gibraltar seemed to have it under control, so I turned my attention to finishing off that revenant. Okay, so maybe I should have helped my teammate instead of thirsting that kill, but one of them was down and one of them was dead. We still had the advantage. As the care package landed, I thought it best to arm myself with something a little more rapid fire than the bow and arrow. Mirage started the revive on Gibraltar, but then I heard something. The enemy was reviving too. Well, I wasn't gonna stand for that. You can probably tell I was quite determined to finish the round with the bow. Definitely an improvement from my last round, and the bow seems to be working for me. So I invested in it again and paired it with an R99. It was time to finish this. Well, damn it. Okay, okay, but we still had match point. I bought Valkyrie's ultimate, thinking that maybe we could surprise the enemy. All we had to do was gather together, and I would fly my team straight into battle. Or not. Okay, but they were still pushing up, so I'd fly ahead to support them. That would probably work out fine. Right? Son of a bitch. Well, now we were into a tiebreaker, and I had to start playing for the rounds ahead, too. The R99 still felt like a comfortable choice, but I was having trouble finishing off my kills, so I invested in an EVA 8 to switch to in a pinch. Or as I call it, the closer. So far, so good. I moved to support my team, but was distracted by footsteps off to my left. My next victim, perhaps? Well, not with shooting like that. Having used up all of my EVA 8 shots, I decided a retreat was in order. The Revenant didn't seem to be particularly aggressive, so I took the moment to fix up my shields. And then I would strike. I closed the distance. I shattered his shields. Now to bring out the closer. Kicking myself for not having reloaded, and knowing how close the Revenant was to death, I desperately marked him for my teammates. I resigned myself to my fate, to death, and prayed that my team would be able to do this without me. 
to live on and... Oh. Or maybe I would just help them win the round. Healed up and hungry for vengeance, I set out to find that revenant. Instead, I found his friend, healing in a corner. Now, where was that revenant? Ha ha ha! Sweet revenge. Alright, we had advantage again, and now would be the perfect time to use Valkyrie's ultimate to beat the enemies to zone. Come on, team, let's do it! Fine, I'll go by myself again. Because that worked so well last time. I shattered one of them, they shattered one of me. So far, a pretty even fight. Gibraltar took some heavy damage, so I moved over to support him. It seemed like Revenant was back for seconds. Ha <laughs> ha! Take that, you robotic monstrosity! I won the fight! And all it cost me were the lives of both my teammates. So yeah, I was screwed now. I evaded the Valkyrie to the best of my abilities, got a little bit of damage in, and just narrowly escaped her missile barrage. I only had a moment to heal. Then I was gonna let her have it. Okay, so hear me out. While that looked terrible, I'd argue that missing an entire R99 clip at that range is actually more impressive than hitting your shots, right? No? Okay. Anyway, I noticed the jump pad and thought it would be an amazing idea to pursue Valkyrie into the skies. Turns out, it was not an amazing idea. But maybe, if I could just get this shield battery off, I could... I came to the conclusion that this game was never going to end. This was my purgatory, and there was no escape. The next round, our team started on opposite ends of the map, with the ring pretty much smack in the middle of us. But we took the initiative to move up first. With the care package landing, I was ready to open fire on whoever went for the weapons. That's when I started getting shot in the side of the head. Absolutely flabbergasted that anyone would have pushed up so far along the side of the map that we had spawned on, I decided it was time to turn my attention to this troublemaker. Now who was hiding over here? Ah, of course. It was the Revenant. Hearing his Valkyrie friend inbound, I thirsted him quick and started to repair my shields. I just had to hope to get this battery off before she reached me. Now to find that Octane before he started picking off my friends. Alright. Now to find that Octane before he continued picking off my friends. Not the cleanest kill, but I wasn't picky at this point. I was very ready for this game to be over. We just had to win one more round, and I still hadn't gotten to properly use Valkyrie's ultimate. But maybe, just maybe, my teammates would be willing to join me this time if I begged them in chat. Oh yeah, this was going to be a good round. Nope, 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 nope. And now Mirage was down. But we could still save this. And now Gibraltar was down. Well, then I guess it was up to me. Astounded that I was still alive, I desperately tried to heal. That's when I realized that I was out of shield cells. I had to try and thirst one of my knocks to get some meds. But my old pal Revenant wasn't about to let me get away. Now, honestly, if he had just pushed me, I probably would have died. 
but I knew this Revenant at this point. I had grown to understand him. He was a very passive player, and if I knew him like I thought I did, he was gonna try and go for a revive. Well, I had even less health now, but at least that prevented the revive. And the Valkyrie conveniently bled out. Finally, I could get my hands on some meds. I listened to the Revenant scurrying around as I healed myself to full. He was too scared to push me despite how injured I was. But that was fine. His cowardice would be his downfall. And there it was, my glorious win. A satisfying ending to a frustrating day. Let me know what you guys think about this new style of video in the comments. Do you enjoy this more than just regular gameplay videos? Did you absolutely hate how much you had to listen to me talk? Seriously, let me know. Your feedback is essential to help me grow as a creator. And again, a big thank you to everyone who's reached out to check on me these last few months. And to everyone for being really understanding about me not being able to post more. Hopefully I can start to get back into the swing of things now. Anyway, if you liked the video, maybe give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing because I'm starting to make my way towards 100 subscribers and I'm thinking I'll be doing an Apex giveaway when I get there. So come back next time to check for updates on that and I'll see you then. Thanks for watching and take care everyone. Farewell.